this is a follow up to my previous video showing how to set up two way data sync across multiple tabs of the same workbook. This time I want to show how that works across different workbooks. Frequently, people want to have the data in these tabs split into separate workbooks entirely so that John can't see Mary's dead end data and Mary can't see John. So I've already set up a Mary data and a John data sheet using import range to bring over the data and then a query to get only the data that pertains to them. I'm actually gonna go through and show how to modify the previous script into the script we want. So here's the script we previously used. And obviously it's not gonna work this time because it's bound to the Mary data sheet and there's no database sheet here. So instead of this, we want to say spreadsheet app and open this workbook where the data is. Excellent. Now I've set the database variable to be the database on the original master sheet so that Mary's data will flow back to there. So let's go ahead and try that. Once again, we're gonna say that Adelia, she did better on her math this time. Let's bump that up to an eight. And just as before, it deletes it, but we see that it didn't actually repopulate. And if I come back to the main database, that's true, it's still set as seven. Let's go look at the logs and see what it's showing. Okay, it shows that it failed. And it failed because you do not have permissions to call spreadsheet app .open by ID. Now this is an important difference and it's what I wanna highlight in this video. Currently this script is using what we call a simple trigger. The only way I defined that this script should run whenever I make an edit is by calling the script on edit. That's a simple trigger, which importantly, from the documentation, they can modify the file they are bound to, but cannot access other files because that would require authorization. So what we need to do is get this script authorized. In order to do that, let's actually go ahead and change the name so that if we do wanna create any simple triggers in the future, those aren't going to get mixed up. For today, let's go ahead and call that sync data. And I can just go ahead and save that again. And then we need to go to current projects triggers. This is where we actually set a programmed trigger instead of a simple trigger. I'm going to add a trigger to the sync data function and select event type is on edit. So I still want it to run every time we make an edit. Now, as I save it, it's going to require that I actually verify the app. This shows up every time that you set up, that you initially verify an app. All it's saying is, do you allow Google to use this script? When I'm building scripts myself, yes, of course. Now that that's saved, let's go run this again. So it still deleted it, but this time it actually set it because the script has been authorized to run with the open spreadsheet by ID. So that's the only thing that really needs to change. Instead of using, and I have the other script here that we can compare. Instead of getting the database sheet from this tab, or from this workbook, I just need to get it from the other workbook, which we do with open by ID. Since we're using open by ID, we have to authorize the script instead of using a simple trigger, and then it will continue to run. 